Ion exchange chromatography. Ion exchange chromatography is carried out in a column. First, the stationary phase is filled in the column. The stationary phase is also known as the ion exchanger. The stationary phase has a particular charge. Thus, it attracts the oppositely charged molecules from the mixture. Depending on the requirement, ion exchange chromatography operates in two modes, cation exchange and anion exchange. Cation exchange In case of cation exchange, the stationary phase has negative charges on it. When the mixture is poured into the column, the stationary phase attracts positively charged molecules or anion from the mixture. Other molecules are then washed away. Anion exchange In case of anion exchange, the ion exchanger has positive charges on it. When the mixture is steamed into the column, the stationary phase attracts negatively charged molecules or cations from the mixture and arrests them. Other molecules are then washed away from the column. Now to extract the target or bonded molecules, the pH or ionic strength must be changed. To achieve it, we add buffer of different pH or ionic strength into the column. When the pH changes, the target molecules separate from the stationary phase and flee out of the column. Ion exchange chromatography is a brilliant technique to extract ions and charged molecules from a mixture. It is mainly used to extract proteins, sugars and amino acids from a mixture. To isolate inorganic ions from a solution. To kick out ionic impurities from a solution. For the softening of hard water. To isolate enzymes from a mixture, etc. That is it for today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the Science Entertaining. Like and share this video if you want to help others. Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video.